بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم مہا شرازی آئی ایم یور کمپیوٹر ٹیچر دس از یور اسلامنٹ نمبر فور اینڈ یو ہیو ٹو ریڈ پیج ٹوینٹی ون ٹو تھرٹی ون فرام یور کمپیوٹر بک دیٹ از کمپیوٹر سائنس گریڈ نائن سو یور فرسٹ ٹاپک از کمپیوٹر ہارڈ ویئر ہارڈ ویئر کمپوننٹس آف کمپیوٹر ہارڈ ویئر کمپوننٹس آف دا کمپیوٹر سسٹمس آر کلاسیفائڈ ان ٹو ان پٹ ڈیوائسز سسٹم یونٹ اسٹوریج ڈیوائسز آؤٹ پٹ ڈیوائسز اینڈ میموری سو فسٹ آف آل اف یو ٹاک اباؤٹ ان پٹ ڈیوائسز دین ان پٹ ڈیوائسز کنٹین دا کی بورڈ ماؤس مائکرو فون اینڈ اسکینر بار کوڈ ریڈر ڈیجیٹل کیمرا اسکرین ٹچ اور ٹچ اسکرین سو دیٹ از بیسکلی یور ان پٹ ڈیوائسز سو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین دیز ڈیوائسز اوکے سو فسٹ آف آل ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ دا کی بورڈ اٹ از دا مین ان پٹ ڈیوائس ٹو کمیونیکیٹ وتھ کمپیوٹر اٹ الاؤز دا کمپیوٹر یوزر ٹو اینٹر دا لیٹرس نمبرس اینڈ اسپیشل سمبلس ان ٹو دا کمپیوٹر نو اف یو ٹاک اباؤٹ ماؤس دین اٹ از اے ہینڈ ہیلڈ ڈیوائس یوز ٹو کنٹرول دا مومنٹ آف کرسر اور پوائنٹر آن اے اسکرین اٹ ہیز ٹو اور تھری بٹنس ایٹ دا فرنٹ دیٹ الاؤز دا کمپیوٹر یوزر ٹو میک سلیکشن ان مینیو ڈرا گرافکس آن اوپن فائلس فولڈرس اینڈ پروگرامس If you talk about microphone, then it's a device that allows computer user to input audio into the computer. It changes audio signal into electrical signal, which are translated into digital form by the sound card for processing in a computer. Scanner. It is a device that captures image from photographs, magazines, books, etc. and stores and stores them in computer in digital form. These images can be edited, displayed on the screen or inserted in documents. Now if you talk about barcode reader, then it's a device that reads the barcode printed on products that represents the product code, description and price and this information is used by the computer to print bill for the customer. Digital camera. It is device used to capture pictures and store them in digital form. These pictures can be downloaded to computer for editing, viewing or inserting in documents now if we talk about touch screen it is a pressure sensitive display screen that is used to interact with the computer by touching pictures or words with finger touch screen is more commonly used with mobile phone and tablet now we'll talk about the system unit system unit is basically the main part of computer it includes the motherboard the power supply the drives such as dvd and hard disk inside the computer casing and all the input and output devices of the computer are connected to the system unit through the ports now one thing is motherboard motherboard is basically the main circuit board inside the system unit it contains the microprocessor main memory expansion cards many ic chips connectors and other electronic components now we'll talk about the microprocessor Microprocessor is the main chip on the motherboard that controls all the activities of computer and it is also known as central processing unit CPU or simply processor. Now I'll talk about ALU that is arithmetic logic unit. It is the part of computer that performs all the calculations and comparisons. It consists of arithmetic unit and logic unit. Arithmetic unit performs all the arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. A logic unit perform all the logical operations which include comparisons of numbers and alphabets. And control unit that controls the operation of all the components of the computer. It control the working of all the input output devices, storage devices and ALU. Now if we talk about registers, registers are small memory units inside the microprocessor used to temporarily store some information during the execution of program. Some common used registers are instruction register, accumulator register, data register, memory address register. Now if we talk about the storage devices, then storage devices are used to store programs and data that are not currently used by the computer and they have huge storage capacity. Therefore, they are also known as mass storage devices or secondary memory. Hard disk is the most commonly used storage device that is fixed inside the system unit. Now if we talk about hard disk, then hard disk is a magnetic storage device used to store computer data. It has storage capacity of about hundreds of gigabyte. Okay. Now we talk about CD. CD stands for compact disk. It is a portable optical storage device which is uh, have a storage capacity of 700 megabytes. And a CD is approximately 1.2 millimeter thick with a diameter of 120 millimeters. 
DVD. DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disc and it has the same thickness as of uh, CD and same diameter as of CD but has more storage capacity as compared to CD. Its storage capacity is in the range of 4 to 16 GB. Now we talk about a memory card, then memory card is a small storage device having the storage capacity of about few gigabytes. It is available in different sizes and storage capacities. Memory cards are generally used in laptop computers and portable devices such as mobile phone and digital camera for storing pictures, audio and video. USB flash drive. USB flash drive is a small portable device that is connected to a computer through USB port and it is also known as USB memory. It is fast in operation and its storage capacity is about 128 GB till now. Now if we talk about output devices, output devices are used to display text, graphics and images on the monitor to print information on paper. Information displayed on monitor is known as soft copy and anything printed on a paper is known as hard copy or printout. Monitor. It is an output device that has a screen on which information is displayed. It has two common types CRT cathode ray tubes and LCD that is liquid crystal display. CRT monitor is very similar to old television. It is almost obsolete due to its big size and low display quality while LCD monitor is slim, uses less power and has better display quality than CRT. Printer Printer is an output device that prints text and graphics on paper which is known as hard copy. There are two types of printer, impact printer and the second one is known as non-impact printer. Impact printer uses electromechanical mechanism which causes the character shape to strike against the paper and leave an image of the character on the paper. Dot matrix is the most commonly used impact printer. And if you talk about non-impact printer, the non-impact printer prints without striking the paper. And there are further two types of non-impact printers which are inject and laser printer. Plotter. Plotter is an output device used for printing engineering drawing, machine parts, building design, maps, charts and panaflexes. Speaker. Speaker is a device used to produce audio output. A pair of speakers is attached to the sound card on the motherboard and speakers are commonly used with multimedia software for playing music and videos on a computer. Memory Memory units store data and programs that are being executed by the computer. It also stores the result produced by the ALU after processing the data. ROM Read-only memory ROM is a single IC chip which is installed on a motherboard. It stores the basic input and output system of computer that controls input and output devices and the startup or boot process. RAM Random Access Memory RAM is highly speed memory installed on motherboard. It is read-write memory. Information can be read from it and can also written into it. Programs are loaded into RAM from secondary storage devices such as hard disk or USB flash drive for execution by microprocessor. Cache Memory Cache is a small amount of extremely fast memory inside the microprocessor or on a motherboard. It is faster and more expensive than RAM. It stores information that is mostly frequently used by computer. Ports, expansion slots and expansion cards. If you talk about ports, then port is an interference for connecting various devices to the system unit. These are located on motherboard and are usually seen at the back of system unit. Expansion slots and expansion cards. Expansion slots are long narrow sockets on the motherboard used for installing expansion cards. Expansion cards are small circuit boards and these cards add new capabilities to the computer. Commonly used expansion cards are sound card, graphic card. Basic operations of a computer. The following four basic operations are performed by computers which are input operation, processing operation, storage operation and output operation. Input operation, a computer is a data processing machine, user enter data and instruction into the computer through keyboard or mouse and it can also be provided to the computer from a storage device such as hard disk, CD or USB. Processing operation, microprocessor processes the data according to the instruction given to it. The microprocessor fetches the data from the memory and stores it in the instruction register. 
storage operation. The result produced after processing are stored in memory before they are sent to the output device. Output operation. The results of data processing stored in memory must be output so that they can be seen by the help of user. Computer software. Computer programs are known as computer software. Computer program is a set of instructions that tells the computer what to do and how to do. It is classified into two categories, system software and application software. System software is a collection of program which makes the use of computer easy and efficient. Highly experienced computer programs developed system software. Following are the types of system software, operating system, device drivers, utility programs and language processors. Operating system is a system software that is responsible for the management and coordination of all the activities performed by the computer. Device drivers. A device driver is a system software that controls the operation of a program when user attach a device such as printer or scanner to the computer. They should install its driver also to make it operational. Utility programs perform specific tasks that are related to the management of the computer. Language processor is a system program used to translate computer programs into machine language. Now if we'll talk about application software, then application software is developed for computer users to solve their problems such as preparing a letter, creating a presentation or managing a database. Commonly used application softwares are productivity software, business software, entertainment software, education software. So we talk about productivity software. Productivity software includes word processing, spreadsheet and database management software packages. Business software. Any software that helps in running business in more efficient way to improve productivity is known as business software. Entertainment software. Software developed to entertain a people is known as entertainment software. Video games are one of the most popular form of entertainment software. Education software. Software developed for educational purpose is known as education software. Open source software, shareware and freeware. Open source software that is available in the form of source code that allows user to study, change and improve it. Open source software is free for use, modification and distribution. Shareware Shareware is distributed free of cost for the limited period, usually one or two months. It is trial version of software given to the people to decide whether they would like to buy the full version of the software. Freeware Freeware is given free of cost and it is full version of software for unlimited period of time. So this was all about your lecture. Your first chapter has been completed and I think so that it will be easy for you to complete your whole assignment, your question answers, your multiple choice questions and the activity which is given. The activity is that you have to read from page 21 to 31 and you have to complete the answers of the following questions. Write a brief note on input and output devices. So I have told you about the input devices and output devices, you need to write the brief note. The second question is write a detailed note on the following system unit, storage devices and memory. So just write down in detail. The third question is write short answers of the following questions. What will happen if storage devices are removed from the computer? Differentiate between system software and application software. Give any free uses of computer in school library. Name few household appliances in which microprocessor is used. And what are the tasks performed by the operating system? Okay, so you need to write all the answers of these short questions. You can take the help of internet and you can also use your book to give the answer. Okay, so this was all about your assignment and complete it on time. Stay at home, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.